Giovanni Battista Pamphili and the Marchioness of Dorchester, Private Diaries, circa 1645. Giovanni Battista Pamphili had arrived following an invitation by my father. Our guest is a shrewd political beast with a miserable face. I was, however, inexplicably drawn to his purity and immaculate form. Over supper he had spoken of the importance of God's countenance, the reverence and dignity one should aspire to without falter, and that we thank God, somewhat repeatedly, for bread. I asked what good bread did when a woman of passion and verve desired fruit. I asked, was not the juice of fruit godly made? Was not its moist engagement the doing of a great God? The holier-than-thou edifice, this channel of reverence, had decided on Innocence the Tenth as his reference, a pompous moniker that amused me for obvious reasons. The head of the Catholic Church reminded me that all fruit was indeed the creation of God, but that fruit had much to answer for in the garden of man's creation. His Holiness then counselled me further that a woman of my grace and social standing must resist temptation should it take hold of my errant sensibilities in the future. I informed His Holiness that from now on, when tempted by the juice of fruit, I would think of him.